Think about your PC today. How long does it take your PC to boot up? PCs today don't take 30 seconds to boot up. A lot of them are available within a few seconds or instantly. That's a problem when we have technologies such as Spanning Tree that take 30 seconds to converge and forward traffic on a network. What I'm going to do is power cycle the devices. And I'll put the lab into simulation mode. Notice the switch is now booted up. Interfaces are showing orange. So what happens now is if the PC sends a renew message, that DHCP message is going to be sent to the switch. And then it's going to be dropped until the ports go to green. So once the ports go to green, the DHCP request message can be forwarded. But previously, that message from PC1 was dropped because of the ports were transitioning from listening to learning to forwarding. So during that period of time, DHCP messages will be dropped by the switch. So let's configure Spanning Tree port fast on the switch. On which ports do I need to configure it? I need to configure it on both the client ports and this server port. We essentially want these three ports in this topology to transition to the forwarding state immediately. Okay, so here's the switch. What I'm going to do is firstly give the switch a name, and then I'm going to say interface range gigabit 101 to 3. Those are the three ports in our network that have devices connected to them. So I'm going to say spanning tree, and in this case, we're going to select port fast. So port fast, enter. Notice we receive a warning message. Port fast has been configured on this port. You can introduce loops if you're not careful. So use with caution. But that's okay for this example. So show run. Notice we've enabled port fast on these three ports. So what I'll do is save the switch configuration. And what I'll do now is power cycle the devices. And what we should see is that as soon as the switch boots up, the ports go to forwarding, which they have now. And my PC can receive an IP address immediately. So again, if I do ipconfig slash renew, the PC receives an IP address immediately. The switch transitioned immediately to the forwarding state on those three ports. So spanning tree immediately transitioned to the forwarding state on those ports. Let's do that again just to prove the point. Here's the switch, it's busy booting up. And what you should notice is as soon as it boots up that the ports go green in packet tracer. There you go, show spanning tree. Notice the ports are immediately forwarding and a PC such as PC1 immediately receives an IP address because of the DHCP messages can be sent to the server immediately. So there you go. That's an example of Spanning Tree Port Fast. So what have you learned? You've learned that Spanning Tree Port Fast transitions a port directly to the forwarding state. Instead of transitioning from listening to learning to forwarding, with Spanning Tree Port Fast ports configured as Spanning Tree Port Fast ports, immediately transition to forwarding, which means that PCs can get IP addresses from DHCP servers. Users can log in to services such as domain controllers without any delay, and the network works more efficiently. It's important that you understand what Spanning Tree Portfast does for the CCNA exam.